friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Wednesday so it's another what I eat in a day. I have all of my food throughout the day today in a fantastic family friendly comfort food dinner recipe as well as some fun. I'm going to show you guys kind of an update on my bathroom remodel and I just have a few other fun things to share with you. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big huge thumbs up and if you're new or you're not yet subscribed I'd absolutely love to have you here on my channel all you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it that way you're notified whenever I upload new videos we do a what I eat in a day around here every single Wednesday so you definitely don't want to miss out check out the description box down below for my 2021 custom calendar I am just about sold out so it's not too late to get one while they're still in stock it's just a great tool as we continue through the new year You'll also find my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation, absolutely essential to know where you should fall calorie and macro wise and how to kind of incorporate that with WW if you're following that program as well. So definitely check that out along with my one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. You'll also find links and discount codes to all my favorite things as well as everything I shared with you in today's video. And last but not least, my Facebook group. We'd absolutely love to have you join us over there. So head on over and take part in that amazing community as well. So let's jump into what I eat in a day on WW. Good morning. You guys saw me prepare my coffee this morning. I've already finished that and now I've worked my way to my water. Look at my new water cup. I just purchased this. Instagram got me on an Instagram ad. This is the Brewmate. So it's similar to the Yeti cup. It keeps everything nice and cold, but this one you can see is like a leopard print. It has a square design to it, so it's just really easy to hold. It's beautiful. So I've already filled it up with part of my gallon of water for the day. Like I said, Instagram got me on this cup. I want to say it was about $30, but my water's been sitting out on my counter while I prepared a few things this morning and it is still nice and cold. So highly recommend. I will link Brewmate's website down below for you guys. So I brought my water in with me. As you saw when I showed you my bathroom once it got remodeled, we decided not to put a mirror above my vanity and that's where this LED mirror comes into play. This is the Ease Hold. You can simply charge this using a USB charger. All you have to do is plug it into an outlet and it charges your mirror. I just leave mine plugged in all the time. That way it's constantly charged. You can shift through the different modes depending on the kind of lighting that you're looking for for whatever you're doing, whether it's a makeup look. You can also flip through all the modes of the different types of lighting. There's brighter, a little yellow tint, blue tint. It just is a fantastic mirror. And then you just turn it off when you're done with it. It comes with a 10 times magnifying mirror that suction cups to the original mirror, which makes it easy to really see. Sometimes you don't want to see, but if you need to see up close and personal, it comes with a 10 times magnifying mirror as well. And this cloth that simply wipes off the mirror. I just keep this in my drawer of my vanity and I just wipe the mirror off every time once I'm done applying my makeup. It gets powder and things on the mirror, so it's nice that it comes with that cleaning cloth. I love this mirror. I have actually used Ease Hold mirrors in the past, but this round on the pedestal mirror is my very, very favorite. It's the only mirror that I use to get ready, and like I said, I love it. So I'm going to link it down below with a discount for you guys. Highly recommend heading over and picking it up. Ease Hold is the most affordable and the highest quality that I have found so far. So let's use my mirror and get ready for the day. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another cause that we can fly with the baseline I know, I know, I know, I know I 
All right, my makeup is done for the day. Very simple, it took maybe 10 minutes or less. And like I said, I didn't use a foundation, but that Beauty Counter Tinted Moisturizer is amazing. It serves not only as your moisturizer, but also adds a tint like you have foundation on just for that nice dewy glow. So this is perfect for today. I went ahead and gave myself a blowout last night. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared that I did this blowout at home and I will be sharing what I used in my favorites for January video. So stay tuned for that coming your way at the beginning of February. This is all I'm going to do today. Just very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and head back to do my meal prep, but make sure you check out that East Hold mirror. It's seriously the best mirror I've ever had. I love the different modes of the lights. It, depending on the lighting in your room, it really serves such a fantastic purpose to help you put on your makeup like an expert. Your makeup looks flawless when you can put it on in a LED lit mirror like East Hold. So again, that will be linked down below for you. Here is my breakfast. You guys saw me cut up and cook up these Jones all natural turkey sausage. I wanted to use what we had left in the freezer. So I had six links. Six links is only three smart points. And I just fried that up with some nonstick cooking spray, Trader Joe's onion salt, one egg, one egg white. Kind of made a little sausage egg scramble and then a bowl of blackberry. So my entire breakfast is only three smart points. And I am working on water number two for the morning. Isn't this cup seriously the cutest? I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you, Instagram. So this is breakfast for three smart points. As you know, we have finished up our bathroom remodel pretty much all the way. I've been on the hunt for some large bath towels as well as a rug to sit outside of our shower. Cuddle Plushie reached out to me and offered to send me some products. So thank you Cuddle Plushie for sponsoring this portion of the video. And I said, this is perfect timing because I'm on the hunt from a bathroom remodel for both a rug and a huge bath towel. So after going onto their website and researching the company a little bit, I was pleasantly surprised at the quality of their products. So Cuddle Plushie is where you can find all kinds of quality cotton bath products certified by the OEKO, such as towels, robes, hair drying cap, bath curtains, and more. They use organic cotton, so it has a lot of beauty benefits for your hair and your skin. It's super absorbative of moisture and completely breathable, and I can't believe how incredibly soft it is. They're also chemical-free, green, and environmental friendly, and this is a great aspect considering the times that we're in. They have antibacterial and deodorant properties as well. It's beneficial to alleviate skin allergies by using these products. So I was really excited to be able to get my hands on on their 100% organic Lux bath towel. I went ahead and picked the brown color just because it goes really nicely in my bathroom. So these are made of 100% long staple Pakistan cotton. They're super soft, plush, and absorbent. So I have the large bath towel for $39. We decided to also pick up the textured border bath mat, and it comes in three colors, white, gray and khaki. I picked up the khaki. This is extra thick and dense to keep your toes nice and warm. It is so soft. There's a nice subtle piping detail that makes it simple but stylish and you could really use this in any bathroom. Ours is very rustic and it looks fantastic. It is also made of 100% long staple Pakistan cotton. Super absorbent and very comfortable, durable and soft and the price was really really good. $39 before any discounts. So I went ahead and hung that big bath sheet on our towel bar here outside of our shower so when we come out of our shower it is right there it is the softest 
bath sheet and it's huge, which I absolutely love. The color is perfect, perfect in our bathroom. And like I said, the quality is unmatchable. It is absolutely unbeatable. And I went ahead and put the rug here outside my shower. This is the softest on your feet rug ever. This is the perfect spot for it right as we walk out of our shower. You could flip it over onto the other side if you wanted that design, but I really like this lined edge design. I think it's very, very pretty. It looks high quality and it absolutely feels high quality. I have to say that I am impressed and we have been on the hunt for quite a while for the perfect rug that just goes with our floor and our bathroom and I'm so happy I found it. I'll link Cuddle Plushie down below with the towel and the rug that I picked up if you're interested as well as the discount. So definitely check them out. They're a small business so if you're here for small businesses they're a great one to support. Thanks again to Cuddle Plushie for sponsoring this portion of today's video. It's morning snack time. I'm gonna have my bottle of gingerberry kombucha. It is three smart points, but as you know, I count it as one. It's 50 calories, so one smart point seems a little bit more reasonable. And then I'm having this entire package here of these pistachios. I picked these up in my grocery haul on Saturday because I wanted to have nuts for a snack, but I also wanted them to be portion controlled because I can very easily overeat them. This entire pack's only four smart points, so you can't beat that at all it takes some time to eat them because you have to shell them so i'm going to have my pistachios and my kombucha and that's my morning snack somebody's super happy outside paws crossed and everything tell them buddy you just celebrated your ninth birthday on the 22nd isn't he just the sweetest he's so freaking cute and she's in bed do you want mommy to cover you baby she likes to be covered with the blankies because she's always 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 cold here is my lunch for today i was craving some tuna fish so i decided to make a tuna wrap not to mention tuna is very low calorie and very very high protein so what i used was one of these safe catch ahi wild fin tuna packets that i picked up from costco these are on sale right now i don't know if they will be for very much longer but this this pack is 110 calories and 26 grams of protein. I mixed that up with two tablespoons of light mayo, added some of these organic hamburger chips to my wrap and some romaine lettuce, and I just have it on one of these Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. And then I'm going to have pitos for a snack. I've been craving the Zesty Ranch. These are so good, you guys. I'll link pitos down below with a discount for you. I really like these individual packs just because it really helps with portion control. So I'm going to do a pack of pitos and my wrap. So this is four smart points, and my wrap is also four smart points, three for the mayo and one for the wrap. So this is lunch. 2.30 p.m. and I just filled the last of my gallon of water into my brewmate. You guys, I'm loving this cup. I got sidetracked for about an hour, came back, my water was ice cold. It's literally a dupe for Yeti, less expensive, and I just love the packaging because it's black leopard print. So I'm about to hop on a Zoom call with my challenge group, but before I do, I'm actually going to have a snack. And I don't know if you guys saw, but on Tuesday they released the built puffs in the bar. There's vanilla marshmallow, strawberry marshmallow, and coconut marshmallow. They're so good. If you like marshmallows, you will love them. If you love the smashmallows that are dipped in chocolate, they have a coffee and a berry, this tastes just like that. The chocolate is nice and thick around the springy marshmallow. It's so good. In order of my favorites, number one is the vanilla, number two is the coconut, number three is the strawberry. These two are tied pretty close, but this one is my very favorite. I just really, really like it. So that's actually what I'm going to have for snack before my call. So it's 130 calories, 16 grams of protein, six grams of sugar, and only three points. So if you love marshmallow and you love chocolate covered marshmallow, you will love the Built Puffs. So they're running a big promotion right now. I'll put all of the details here on the screen for you. And then you can actually use my normal link and code and save an extra 10% off of the sales price. So I think it makes like 25% off. They These are limited edition. They'll be gone after the promotion. I'm definitely ordering them. I really, really like them. And you can't beat chocolate covered marshmallow with 16 grams of protein for three points. So. That is my afternoon snack along with the last of my water. For dinner tonight, I'm making a taco 
tater tot casserole. So we're doing your traditional tater tot casserole with a taco spin and I couldn't be more excited for tonight's dinner. So for dinner, for this recipe, you're going to need a 32 ounce bag of tater tots. You can do your own seasoning or just use a taco seasoning packet. I just use the one from Thrive. I love it. It has nice clean ingredients. It doesn't have de dextrose or cornstarch like some of the other taco mixes. And then you'll need a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, light shredded cheese, a couple of tomatoes or three smaller Roma tomatoes, a onion, a bell pepper, you can really use any color that you would like, minced garlic, a couple of cans of chili beans and a can of cheddar or nacho cheese soup, and last but not least, some lemon juice. So let's make some comfort tater tot casserole. First thing I'm going to do is chop up my tomato, onion, and bell pepper. So I went ahead and pulled out a big skillet, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add a big scoop of minced garlic, and then we're also going to add the cut up onion and bell pepper and let those saute down for a few minutes. After your peppers and onions have started to soften, go ahead and add in your pound of ground beef. You're also going to add in all of your seasonings. Again, I decided to just go ahead and use a taco seasoning pack. And then we are also going to add in some lemon juice. And as the ground beef starts to brown, we'll go ahead and add in those couple of chopped tomatoes. Add in your diced up tomatoes and then stir those in. Finish cooking until your ground beef is cooked all the way through. And then we'll start assembling the taco tater tot casserole. To assemble the casserole, you'll need a nine by 13 casserole dish. The first thing we're going to do is add the two cans of chili beans to the bottom of the casserole dish. Go ahead and spread those out nice and evenly. Then we're going to add one cup of light shredded cheese right over the top of the chili beans. Next up is that ground beef mixture. That's the next layer. Go ahead and spread that over the top of the beans and cheese. The next layer is the cheese sauce. So we're going to put the entire can of cheddar cheese soup on top of the bean cheese and meat mixture. The recipe actually called for nacho cheese soup. I did not get that just because they didn't have a lower point or lower calorie version. They only have the healthy request in the cheddar cheese soup. So you could get the nacho soup. Another thing you could use is queso, but I'm also trying to limit the spice as well just because my husband is not a big spicy foods person. So I think that the cheddar cheese sauce will do the trick with the cheese, but without all the spice. Now we're going to add the 32 ounce bag of tater tots right to the top of the casserole and just layer them as even as you can. We're using the entire bag so luckily we're going to be having a lot of tater tots in this tater tot casserole. And the last step is one more cup of light shredded cheese right over the top of those tater tots. So this is definitely cheesy cheesy goodness and then this is going to go in to a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until it's cooked completely through and the tater tots are golden brown this looks absolutely delicious so this is going in 350 for 45 minutes i just pulled the taco tater tot casserole out of the oven this looks so good it smells amazing the entire casserole makes 12 servings so i'm going to cut out one serving plate it up and i'll be back to share points and calories so here is my dinner this is one twelfth of the taco tater tot casserole this is nine smart points on both blue and purple and 11 on green because you have to account for the beans again 12 servings 316 calories per serving and with my casserole i'm going to be having a Ouroboros water. This one is my favorite peppermint and watermelon. I buy these off of the Thrive Market. Hands down the best price. Biggest variety. Thrive is linked down below for you guys with 25% off of your first order. So that is going to be tonight's dinner. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. I thought since I showed you my morning routine and my what I eat in a week video that I would show you what I do for my nighttime routine. Thank you so much to all of you who reached out and said how beautiful my skin was. That really means a lot to me. I work really hard on my skincare regimen. I have spent a lot of money perfecting exactly what 
work so well for my skin. So I wanted to share both my morning and my nighttime routine with you. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash my face. So I use the Soap & Glory Fab Pore Purifying Foam. I love this facial cleanser. I'm not that particular on the brand of facial cleanser, but I like one that gets nice and foamy. So this one is generally one of my favorites. Then I go ahead and take this eye makeup remover that I actually picked up off of Amazon, Solmo eye makeup remover. This stuff works really good and it's super affordable. And I just make sure that I remove any left behind eye makeup or any of the brow gel. Then I use one of the Kirkland makeup wipes, the same ones as I used in my daytime routine, and I just re-wipe off my face. I just wanna make sure that there isn't any makeup residue left behind, especially if I don't wash my face in the shower. I just like to make extra double, triple sure that there's no makeup left behind. Four to five nights a week, I use the Beauty Counter Overnight Resurfacing Peel. This stuff is one of the primary reasons that my skin looks as amazing as it does. And basically what this does is it resurfaces your face overnight. It removes all of the dead skin cells, any impurities from the skin, closes up a lot of those open pores. It's absolutely perfection. It fills in any fine lines and wrinkles. It's just an amazing way to extra purify and clean your skin overnight. And I just leave it on all night. I'll just wipe it away in the morning when I use a makeup wipe to remove any dirt that's on your face from overnight. Once that's on, I'm using the Beauty Counter Eye Cream. This one is amazing for overnight. It just really makes your eyes nice and soft, really mo moisturized as you sleep. So when you put on the resurfacing peel, make sure that you don't get any in your eye. I don't even put it under my eye because I do like to put on some really moisturizing eye cream. And lastly, what really finishes off my nighttime routine is the Beauty Counter Counter Time Moisturizer. This is the best moisturizer ever. I put two small pumps in my hand and it is plenty to put on my entire face. And this works hand in hand with that overnight resurfacing peel. And this is the best anti-aging moisturizer I have ever found. Like I mentioned, my skin has honestly never looked better. I have zero fine lines or wrinkles and I am 45 years old and I should technically have some fine lines and wrinkles, but because I use such a good quality skincare, something that is affordable still, but extremely high quality. It has really just taken away any of those fine lines and wrinkles or what makes me look aged. So that's my nighttime routine. I'll link everything down in the description box for you. You guys know how much I love Beauty Counter. It really truly has been a complete game changer in my skincare and I have started to use a lot of their makeup as well. So highly recommend them. All the products that I shared with you, both in my daytime and nighttime routine, I'll link them all down below. That way you don't have to search back in my what I eat in a week to find what I used in my daytime routine. So this is dessert tonight. I'm going to have the enlightened brownies and cookie dough. One or two servings, I'm not sure yet. It is 100 calories per serving or 400 calories for the entire pint. This one is really delicious. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my food, and of course that really, really good dinner recipe. That recipe, as always, is on my website, which is linked in the description box down below. You'll also find Cuddle Plushie if you wanna take advantage of their amazing 100% beautiful cotton towels, robes, slippers, bath mats, you name it, they have it. Also that mirror, highly, highly recommend. If you're someone that struggles with lighting in your bathroom, or even if you just want a take along LED mirror with several modes, it's amazing. It's the third Easehold mirror I've purchased and I love every single one of them, but this one's actually probably my very favorite. So I'll make sure that that's linked down below for you guys as well. You'll also find nutrition coaching and my Facebook group. So definitely check out the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to join us and hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Happy, happy Wednesday and I'll see you next time. Bye.